So one of the big hazards for us is these right here, these black flags. These are representative of the long fishing lines that come out behind them. They go in lines up to miles. So as we go past it, what we'll be looking for is to see if it dips, to see if we hook it with our... Steve's got the crew bars basically stopped. Everybody trying to feed their YouTube channel, right? That's great. Not seeing a dip, so that's a good sign that maybe this was the this was the tail end of it. <laughs> Ooh, that was a close call. Visit our friend Alec. Holy smokers. Blue light special. We're here hanging out with everybody here. In the blue light. We all look great in blue light though. That's right? that's the best part. <laughs> it makes you look blue. I mean everybody's blue. <laughs> It's always fun to come and see other people's boat. Our friend Alec, uh, who is a really amazing guy, he's a Canadian and um, he's an ice road builder. So he builds these ice roads on uh, on rivers, which is just like amazing to be like, but over top of rivers and lakes when they need to get these ice trucks to like the oil sands. And so I'll try and insert a video here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. But he's here on this Nordhaven, Nordhaven. I mean, that sounds like a really like a Viking ship. But we're here with him and his wife and his son and uh, hanging out and having a good time. This is our friend Vicente. Si. And his familia. Hey, familia. Si. 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 <laughs> they take care of us here. Si. Yeah. Luis Sebastián, el capitán. Si. Yes. El capitán. Si. Saluda, Sebastián. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mucho gusto. Perfecto. Gracias. Good time, okay? Yeah. Hey, Perfect. thank you so much. Si. Hey. Oh. Later. Later. Gracias. Our seat for the show. So, I, I'm, I'm really innocent, and really, if you think about it, I'm the victim. But I may have knocked like one of these off of here just now, down there on the ground. And now they're kind of, they're all like having a conference on trying to decide who gets to spit in my drink first. I think it's probably it, like who gets precedence of spitting or dipping their nuts in it or what. So there's some folks trying to get very close as well to the rocks, that is.
heritage wall behind us. A lot of famous people throughout the years have been here and, and signed different places. So, you see he's looking at Walt Disney's. Over there, over there. Walt Disney, Bob Hope, Gary Busey. Gary Busey. So really, the two ways to see the show are to book a reservation at a restaurant like La Perla, which is a good meal, it's great seats, nice drinks, a little on the pricey side, but really nothing in comparison to what you would pay in the US. Or you can go down here and, and you just pay an entrance fee, which is like four or five American dollars. So um, you really do it however you want to do it. If you want to make it an experience, go to the restaurant or you get actually, I think, a little better view it if you're really trying to get the best footage. I suggest going down there. You will be shoulder to shoulder and three or four deep when the show comes on. But, uh, you know, if you're a real photographer, just throw an elbow or two. Pretty cool. They have uh, Spider-Man and Iron Man are here. So, I mean, it must be a pretty cool spot, right? Got little stands, little ice cream stands all along the walk. Gracias. yes. <laughs> Sailing away, Acapulco fading into the distance, and you might be thinking, you guys didn't really seem to see much of that city, um, and for, considering for how big it is, and with a million plus people, we really did see a small part. One thing is that the, uh, the marina is actually kind of on the older part of town, which is cool because you get to go see the cliff divers and that, but um, the roads are very busy. Uh, the sidewalks are kind of like non-existent and it's a little bit dirty. Um, it, it just didn't really appeal to us that much and we, we knew that we could take a cab ride over and there's a lot of clubs and hey man, these guys party till they, I don't know that they ever stop partying really when it comes down to it, but uh, I don't know, maybe just a little too old. And the truth is, this isn't a, this isn't a party trip. This is a moving trip. So here we are, destination south. Let's get moving. We are doing our 200 mile crossing tonight and Steve has set up a line all throughout the front of the boat in case of emergency and we need to go out front. On my watch, for some reason, there's two shallow areas right here that are saying three feet. So, not sure what that means, but just in case, I changed our heading a couple degrees and I plan on just going straight. Setting anchor in the dark. Okay. I'll back up again. Okay. 